Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my project demonstration series. Today I'm back with one more project demonstration that is online jewelry shopping. In this project we are using, means this online jewelry shopping website, we are using following things. One on the server side, means server side coding that is the backend side we are going to use JSP some part we have written in JSP servlets some pages are developed in servlets then in the UI part that is the front end part we have used HTML CSS and bootstrap and as a database, that is the backend part, database, we have used MySQL. Okay. Now, anyone who is interested in this project can please contact me. I'll sure guide you with this project. Anyone who wants code for this project or anyone wants help in developing this or in running this project, you can sure contact me or you can write in the comment box we will sure reach out to you okay so without wasting time let's quickly see the demonstration we will go to the browser whichever favorite browser you have like i'm using google chrome now in the google chrome address bar i'll type localhost colon 8080 and slash my jwl and then I'll give enter, it will show you the welcome page of this website. We have created it for one Vaishnavi jewelers as a hypothetical uh, jewelry shop. For them, we have created this website. Now, this is the welcome page. It is showing you the pages, which were images in the sliding form. Then in the main bar, that is the header bar, you can see about us which is showing short information about this jewelry shop on the contact us it's giving the address of that jewelry shop along with that the timings if you want to personally visit visit to that jewelry shop then below you can see the the footer part then we have two main options that is sign up login and admin okay so if you click on sign up it will give you a registration page we will register for some email ID and I'll take an hypothetical email ID like I've taken nish19 at the rate gmail I'll give some password then confirm password now confirm password and password if it doesn't match it will give you an error error will be popped up for that then we will enter proper full name then the address okay some hypothetical address I have put phone number we will give and this phone number validation is there it will check for 10 digit validation now when I click on ok it will pop a message that you are registered successfully for displaying this we have made use of bootstrap and then it's giving a link that go and log in so I'll click here to login. Now once I come to the login page, it will ask you for email and password as email is used as a login ID and then I'll give password. Okay. Now once you are logged in, it will show you the welcome page of the user in which you can see different categories of products are there like Ashirvad, Balgandharva Jewelry, Diamond Jewelry, Mangal Sutra, different categories are there and then in the header view profile is there where you can see your profile, you can make changes in the profile and click on update, then view cart option is there, track orders and logout option. Now if I again click on home, it will show you the categories. Now we will quickly do some shopping. Now if I click on Balgandharva Jewelry, it will show you different products in Balgandharva category. Suppose I am taking this bridal necklace, 
it will show you the name price everything and select the quantity add to cart you can continue shopping you can see the cart till now whatever you have purchased and if you want to do the billing you can click on checkout suppose i click on continue shopping it will again come to home page now suppose i take some silver products suppose i'm clicking on this product its price discount everything will come one quantity i'm adding now if you click on view card it will show you the table in which all the products which you have purchased the quantity the discount offered their price how much amount at the end the total then the gst cst final bill now if i click on checkout it will go for the billing part it will give you the order number the date the user id total amount now select the card number now you have to type a 16 digit card number with four digit each four digit separated with dash then give the bank name and then click on place order it will show you your order number is 3 okay if you want to check track the record may track your order to so click on track order it will show you the order id of the orders which you have purchased it won't show you the orders of others getting okay so i'll select the order id and click on show it will show you the entire bill along with your name address everything and the status will be shown whether it is pending or dispatched to so which your admin is going to make the changes in it okay now quickly we'll log out from this part we are again back to the welcome page then we'll click on admin then in the admin section login as admin admin i'm giving username admin admin and login it will show you the admin home page okay so this is the admin name and the options provided for admin admin can view the users which are registered till now so two users are registered till now it will show you the list of it for printing this users also we have made use of bootstrap getting then you can see the different categories here you can see different categories are already added if you want to add a new category you can give the category name click on add you'll be able to see it in the list if you want to delete any category or update any category then the options are provided we'll go to the home page then similarly the products part is there you can see the list of available products which the shop sells along with their id name and even its category if you want to add a new product you can add from here getting you can give the product name its rate its discount offered then the category you can select and then choose the image of this and if you click on add this product will be uploaded on the server side and you will be able to see that new product has got added in this list okay it will be added at the end of the list same way you can make updation in the product you can delete any product okay now we'll go to the home page similarly the admin can see how many orders are placed so if you click on jewelry orders you can see like till now two orders are placed getting or three orders as many orders are there like these are the two orders placed by some first user this is the third order now if that admin is dispatching this order getting then he'll change the status click on dispatch the status is changed to dispatched now this status will be reflected to that user whenever that user logs in okay now i'll click on home you can see here also there is an option of log out getting i hope you will like this project if you are really interested in implementing this project you can sure contact me i'll guide you as much as possible from my side okay thank you all of you keep watching keep learning and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll get timely notification thank you all of you